I just wanted to say, um, you know, I grew up here. I left, and the, I didn't. I didn't come back. Start to come back around to Tamaray or back around a lot of people that I hung out with until after the raid. So it doesn't matter if it's been five years, two months, two days. It's okay to come back. It's always okay to come back. I hung out with Jacob and everybody who conspired against my father. My, like, he may not be my biological father, but he raised me to be the person and the mother that I am today. And he just, he doesn't deserve to be in there because of lies. He did nothing but wonderful things for everybody. And he loved everybody like we were his children. Right. He loved everybody. And to this day, he will say, my child, because he has taught us to just love everybody. Because love, like he's always said, love is the key. And that's all he wanted us to do was to love each other and not hate each other. That's why we always say, and we will always say, it's okay to come back. Because I left and I came back after the raid. So it's okay. It's okay to come back. Even it's never too late. It is never too late. And we, we just got to get him out. He's, he's going to come home. He's going to come home. Um, I just want to say that, you know, it's been many years since I left and came back. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because, and, and very sad, because this is what I have to come back to you know, is Baba being gone. I mean, for years I would say, I'm going to get myself together, you know, like person on drugs. I'm going to get myself together. <laughs> and I waited, and I waited too long. And you don't want to wait until it's, it's too late. You don't want to wait until you get some bad news about something that may have happened to him or to any of us. You, you just don't. If you're out there and you know that you have you were party to this in some way, come back and set the record straight. And you can, you can do it, you know. You don't wanna, I, like I, I say all the time, it's just one of those things where one day you will wake up and you will realize that it's really nothing out there. It really, really isn't. I'm telling you I had that experience of everything that most people would perceive to be making it in this world. And I realized that I had one foot out the door and the other foot on the banana peel. And I'm talking about my soul. Make a decision about what it is, what, it, what, what I'm going to do. Is it my soul or is it these things? Is it my soul or is it the next party? Is it my soul or is it the next artist that I meet with the, you know, what, what, what is it? What is it? The next record that, you know, I, you know, get involved in or whatever. It, it just, at the end of the day, it didn't add up. It didn't add up. And I found myself in a very lonely place. And the only thing I could think is, gosh, I want to go home. I want to go home. And what's really crazy is the year that I decided I wanted to go home was the year they took Baba, and I had big issues with people. I had an attitude, and I just didn't know, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I went to see him when I was able to see him, and I'm grateful to have even been able to lay eyes on him. I am grateful. And all I can say to him, him is, what am I going to do without you? What am I going to do without you? What are we going to do without Baba? What are we going to do? I'm not going to do anything. We have to get him out. It's imperative that we get him out. It's imperative that we figure out what it is. I mean, there's a solution to this. There's a solution. 
and some of you out there have that solution. Bring it home and bring it back. Make it right. Make it right. Make it right for pops. You know what I'm saying? You all know what that is. It's all personal for all of us. We all know what it is. We all know what it is to love pops. We all know what it is to sit down and have a conversation with him and just be blown away. How about I sit, when I've sat in front of him, even going, you know what's interesting? I go to see Pop, and I'm trying to get information on how I'm going to help him. I sit down in front of him, and he's telling me all about how to heal myself. I was, I, I called my cousin one day. I said, I feel like I just, somebody just, you know, plugged me into a light socket. <laughs> Literally. I came out of there, I was wired. I didn't know if I wanted to go to the left or to the right or whatever. I was just standing in front of the prison like, you know, what am I going to do? Because he just downloaded on me. Do you know what that's about? I was messed up. Really. I was messed up like, okay, I really got a lot of work to do. Wow, when am I going to go back and tell everybody? We're screwed up. <laughs> we got stuff to do. So, you know what? Let's just do it. As they say, let's, let's just do it. Watch it. Okay, we would again like to thank all of our panelists once again for joining us. Um, we hope that with our show, it cleared up a lot of the misconceptions about the conspiracy against Dr. Malachi Z. York and kind of give you a framework for understanding where it may have come from. Um, if you look throughout history with different leaders of the Nubian community who have been progressive, who have created many of the positive things that we've created in our community, we've seen the same thing. They've been defamed, they've been framed, using sexual charges that discredit their character, they always use taxes, We've seen it with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We've seen it with Marcus Garvey. We've seen it with Noble Ali. We've seen it with all our leaders throughout time in an attempt to discredit them and end their movement. But it's going to stop here. We're going to rewrite the story. We will be freeing our master teacher, Dr. Malachi Z. York, and this will move forward. So we did want to um, kind of recognize and uh, give a shout out, I guess, to many of our people. <laughs> Can't think of it. a greeting to many of the um, family members and concerned people that we have tuned in worldwide, who are behind the master teacher, Dr. Malachi Z. York. Not just here in Athens, but we have Barbados, Canada. <laughs> The UK, of course, Georgia, home of AEO, up top in New York, yes, Florida, Iowa, Illinois, probably my hometown, Chicago, sorry. Get that as a host. Tennessee, yeah. Philadelphia, yeah. and uh, of course our faithful in Colorado, keeping that energy around our master teacher. Okay, DC, and I'm sure we have Jamaica in the house. So of course this is worldwide, you what can't stop pop. So again, want to thank all around the world, worldwide,